Okay, team, let's start with this one right here. I want you to take one minute and I want you to read it and then I'm going to read through it and analyze it with you, okay? But take a minute on your own and read it to yourself, okay? Go ahead, do that now. Okay, unpause. I'm going to read it. You can fast forward it if you want to, but I'm just going to show you how I work through this and think through it. It says here, at the end of each school day, a preschool teacher encourages the children to talk about the day's events. Let me circle that sentence. Now, preschool, three to four, four to five, maybe even kindergarten, five to six, who falls in that category? A whole bunch of teachers in early childhood fall into that category, right? And they do this activity every day, yes? So right away when you read this for that group of teachers, you automatically can relate to this. They're meeting up at circle time, the students are talking, and what does the teacher do? The, well, the students talk and describe the day's events, and what does the teacher do? The teacher takes what they say and they write. Is that right? So students talk, teacher writes, okay? And then it says afterwards, the teacher reads the list back to the students. So, so it's student talks, teacher writes, and then teacher reads what they wrote that the students said. Now, how is this activity promoting literacy or reading and writing? Well, let's, let's go and break it down again. They talk, which is basically they talk and and they're gonna make a whole bunch of sound, is that right? And the teacher takes the talking and the sound and they write it, encode it into, uh, they write it down, or, or they encode it into, let's say, letters, words, I'll just write the alphabet, right? So they're modeling how to take sounds or words in oral language and, and write it into uh, actual uh, writing words, right? Okay, so what is this activity doing? Is this a is this a word boundary activity? No, not really, right? Word sometimes with word boundaries, we have the student take their finger and, and put the put a space. If they're doing writing, they practice using a space, using their finger to be the space between the words. Um, no, so we're not doing that, right? We're not practicing our writing and doing working on word boundaries. Uh, how about this one right here? An awareness that speech, oh no, that's the answer. Pretend I didn't say that. How about this one right here? Basic understanding of the alphabetical principle. That's a new idea, or that's a very important idea. Maybe we should take a moment and clarify that. What is the alphabetical principle? Okay, okay, we're back. Okay, so I was gonna save that for later, but I threw it in here. The alphabetical principle is that idea of matching up letters with their predictable sounds. And that's not really what we're doing here. That's not the, the main objective of this activity. So, so that's out, right? So is it B or is it D? D says, you know, an awareness of syllables. I don't think that's it either. No, no. What we're doing here is building an awareness that speech, that's the, the talking, can be represented into uh, writing, right? That's what the teacher is doing. Now, if you've done this, uh, activity every day. That's what you're doing. This activity is reinforcing this whole thing that you do every day for preschool. You're reinforcing this awareness, print awareness, that speech, everyday speech can be everyday oral language and oral words can be represented in writing. That's what you're doing when you do this activity. The answer is B. Now, Let's go to our, our answer sheet real quick. I know I've done a couple uh, a couple of questions uh, um, on this test here, and I got a couple more. I want to do these because they're fast and quick, and you get a sense of the concept and in a basic scenario. And I encourage you to take a look at this test if you want to have uh, you know uh, a test that isn't as wordy to practice some of the basic scenarios. Um, I think this test will help you with that. Okay, but um, let's just review. The answer is B. It's from this test, and we got some aware. We got some things here like print awareness, alphabetical principle, word boundaries, segmenting syllables. That's that's um, like wonderful. 
we're, we're getting exposure to this vocab. The more, more exposure we have, the easier it is to navigate through these different questions, okay? All right, the answer is B.